we made this movie for you guys. That's why we made the movie, because we share a passion about this character. Uh, as, we can, as we all know, he's a much darker character, and I think that's what distinguishes this movie. Unlike other Marvel films, this is a much grittier, grounded, uh, complicated character. There's no one more perfect to play Eddie Brock in Venom, um, but for me as a huge fan of Tom, uh, I, I love pretty much everything, no, I can say officially everything he's been in. Um, so when I heard he was excited about playing uh, Eddie Brock in Venom, it was like a dream come true. There's just, uh, for me, no one more exciting to watch on screen. He just brings so much complexity and depth to every character he inhabits. There's a danger and a uh, complexity. And with uh, what's unique to this character is just that duality between Eddie and Venom. And, you know, watching what he does with everything he, everything he inhabits, he just elevates it to the next level. So it was a dream come true to find out that he was interested and it's been an absolute pleasure working together on this film. Venom is by far, like for me, the, um, like, I'm, I don't want to like upset anyone, but I think he's the coolest Marvel uh, superhero that there is. Um, and uh, I just like the way he looks, first and foremost. <clears throat> then also there's my son, and uh, he's a massive Venom fan. And, uh, and, and he, was, uh, he, he was a very strong influence on me uh, as to why I ought to play mm -hmm. uh, Venom specifically. I read the script, I fell in love with the character, and, um, and it's a double act, so there were two, two characters that I'm playing. Um, and I'm, I'm a bit of a geek about acting, so I wanted to play, uh, I did a film called Legend, where I played two brothers. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Uh, and I thought I could do a similar um, technique, but this time I get to play with a huge like visual effects monster. I, I gotta give a, um, a lot of uh, props to the sound boys, Coffee and Patrick, who, who actually, I would record Venom uh, up first before I did a scene with Venom or other actors who had to, to work in the scene with Eddie Brock and Venom together, but they couldn't hear necessarily Venom, but I could. And uh, the sound boys would listen to my cues or the other actors' cues and have to play or interrupt other actors with the right lines at the right time. As a director, it was just so exhilarating to watch him have these conversations with himself all at once. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, seriously, like, because he is uh, two different you know, beings are occupying him, living in his head as simultaneously, and the way he's able to be interacting with Riz in a scene, but also reacting to Venom, who's talking to him in his head, uh, at the same time just watching at the monitor, it was just, you know, so fun to see the way he was able to create this world. He's an anti-hero, so he has, he'll figure on a goal, and he'll do whatever he has to do to get that, to that goal, even if that means going around the outside and doing some naughty or bad things t to get there. Mm -hmm. To kind of find his perfect opposite partner in a, mm -hmm. in a, you know, this huge, great alien beast that arrives and lives rent-free in his body. <laughs> yeah. and, and no one will believe him that it's there. Carlton Drake is a genius, a billionaire, uh, an inventor, and he's made a lot of scientific breakthroughs in his time. And at this point, the Life Foundation, which is the, the organization that he founded, um, is trying to answer the question of what does the future for humanity look like? Mm -hmm. Because planet Earth is almost done. As you saw in the footage, it's like we're on the brink of ecological and environmental collapse. So he thinks probably we've got a future in outer space. So it's in exploring that that he comes across the symbiotes. From Carlton Drake's point of view, he's really trying to do right by humanity, trying to ensure we've got a future. It's just that old saying, sometimes to make an omelette, you've got to break some eggs. Michelle is awesome. <laughs> I wish she was here now, actually, she would love this. Um, she's a brilliant actress, and, and, and it, like through and through, like uh, there, there's nothing that that, that, that actor can, that cannot do. She's brilliant, and um, working with her, she's a consummate pro. She's, Super, super patient with me talking to myself all the time, <laughs> uh, trying to figure things out. She's a problem solver, and she, I mean, she's awesome. She's an awesome actress. So uh, working with her is a delight. She just brings such a warmth and humanity to the character, um, but she's really strong. I mean, that's the as people remember from the comics, Anne Wang is a really strong character, and uh, I think Michelle did her uh, justice as far as just being, um, you know a worthy adversary to Eddie Brock, if, uh, 
If riot's an adversary to Venom, we can say that uh, Anne is a worthy adversary to Eddie. Jenny Slate, uh, who I'm a massive fan of, a massive fan of her as a performer and a comedian, she, um, she plays the lead scientist at the Life Foundation. So um, it was interesting because, I mean, I think people, she's going to be a real discovery for a lot of people in terms of the kind of role she plays here. She brings a lot of soul and, and warmth and humanity to this, to this character, to this scientist. But in between takes, she just had us in stitches. She's so funny. She's just, I mean, I just really want us to be able to leak the footage of behind the scenes <laughs> of what she was doing between takes. I think we can all agree it would be pretty amazing to see Spider-Man and Venom face off in a film. Um, <laughs> and I know I can speak for myself when I say that I'd be really excited to go see that film. So I have to think that the studio is thinking the same way and that at some point down the road, they're gonna run across each other's paths. Tom Holland recently said that out of all the characters in the Marvel's universe, the one that he would most like to face off with is Venom. So, how do you feel about that? Who, me? You ready, you, you ready to go face to face? What, what, toe to toe with Tom Holland? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a go, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, you, you got to have a go, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, no, he's an awesome actor, and I'd love to, I'd love to work with him, and I love Spider-Man, so. But, you know, you, who knows? You should be extremely afraid. It looks like Ruben Fleischer's Venom movie, starring Tom Hardy, came and went last week at San Diego Comic-Con without a trailer debut and with only a sizzle reel being shown to Hall H for those attending its panel. A brand new look is expected to be coming sometime soon now that the movie has been officially rated. Footage was described as an extended trailer but with unfinished scenes. Uh, CGI wasn't complete, you know, it was still rough around the edges. Initial reactions, though, sounded really good. It said it looked violent, funny, dark in all the right ways. Um, said Hardy looked good in his performance. And, um, and everybody in attendance seemed to be pretty happy with that first teaser. Um, it shows Venom battling uh, symbiotes. Um, and it's been confirmed that Riot is one of the villains in there, played by Riz Ahmed. It opens with Eddie walking into a convenience store and talking to a woman who works there. She tells him he doesn't look well and suggests meditating. At home, Eddie lays down on the floor and attempts to meditate. There, he has flashbacks of him running through the woods. He smacks his head on his couch and takes some pills, then calls someone and tells them he isn't feeling well. In another scene... He walks down an alley and sees Venom's reflection in a car window and is suddenly flung against a wall. Meanwhile, Riz Ahmed's character, Carlton Drake, who works at the Life Foundation, is experimenting on humans with the symbiote cells. One man bends violently and contorts when combined with the symbiote. He believes, uh, <clears throat> Riz Ahmed, believes humans uh, combined with symbiotes are the future of evolution in the torn world they live in. Drake tests the symbiote on Eddie in some footage, and Eddie later beats up a group of men at his apartment as they come to retrieve it. His motorcycle is crushed between two cars in another scene, but Venom tendrils uh, prevent Eddie from being killed and smash the trucks. That's probably the scene that was shown in the, um, shown in the trailer that we've seen. Uh, Venom and Eddie talk and have conversations. And it appears they separate from each other and have a full on conversation. Venom says his old life is over, but Eddie doesn't want to kill people. Venom emerges so he and Eddie can talk face to face and Venom heals Eddie and they recombine. In another scene, Drake is proud of his creation by combining Venom with Eddie. Meanwhile, Eddie gets used to the power that comes with being Venom and starts to enjoy it. Eddie's romantic interest, played by Michelle Williams, named Anne Weighing in the movie, isn't so sure about Eddie's new powers. There's a montage of action scenes, including a woman throwing spikes out of her back at a public market. Venom's arms turn into giant axes and he wipes out a bunch of bad guys. Scenes of Venom fighting Riot. Then the footage concludes with the scene back in the convenience store. A man bothering the woman who works there and Venom threatens to eat his face. The man says, what the hell are you? Half of Venom's face gives way to Eddie's. 
and they say, we are Venom. Then he eats the man's head. Afterwards, Eddie emerges and says goodnight to the woman in the store. That sounds like a lot of good stuff happening. Um, I know people are real excited about this, but I'm not one to to go wild over vignettes um, of scenes and whatnot, just because we don't know what's in between them. We don't know if it's good dialogue. We don't know if it's put together well. I do have faith in Tom Hardy. I can't really recall a bad Tom Hardy movie. Um, yes, yeah, I dig through my mind. I can't recall anything that his, whoever picks his scripts, picks the movies that he's in, whether it's him or some agent or something. Okay. Did we just clip there? Okay. I hope not. Yeah. So whoever's picking out Tom Hardy's, uh, scripts, whether it be an agent, whether it be Hardy himself, um, they seem to have a pretty good track record with picking out quality uh, films for him to be in. So I'm going to give Ven Venom the benefit of the doubt. And with the uh, footage uh, that was shown at Comic-Con and just the reaction of it, I am going to oh, have a little faith in this. Excuse me, guys. Have a little faith in this and we're going to see what happens. Um, I'll update you guys when another trailer is released and we'll get it posted on the site. Um, leave your comments about the trailer, you know, what you think of what it sounds like. Are you guys excited for Venom to come? Uh, be sure to subscribe for more content coming from iNerd. Um, and thanks for being here with us, guys, and we'll check you next time. Thank you for bringing us collectively to this moment. It is a moment that so many have dreamed of claiming. History starts today. The guy you work for is an evil person. I don't work for him. My firm works for him. Are you gonna behave yourself tomorrow? I told you I'm gonna do my job. I'm a reporter. I follow people that do not want to be followed. What about the allegations that you recruit the most vulnerable for tests that end up killing people? Your time to go. You're finished, Mr. Brock. Is that a threat? You had to learn how to hide in plain sight. I'm pretty good at it. But you, you suck. Whoever you are. I work at the Life Foundation, and I need your help. We found something. We call them symbiotes. Carlton Drake believes that the union between human and symbiote is the key to our evolution. I'm feeling really sick. I'm hearing a voice. Eddie. You're not real. You were just in my head. I'm gonna need Mr. Drake's property back. I don't know. Why would we do that? If you're gonna stay, you will only hurt bad people. The way I see it, we can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? Are you willing to sacrifice? The one thing you hold most dear. You should be extremely afraid.